Peter from App Spy here, and I'm here to ask you a little question. Do you remember Pac-Man? I think we all, of a certain age, do remember Pac-Man. I'm in my ooh, late 20s now, I have to depressingly say. And uh, I remember Pac-Man because uh, I fondly remember him from the arcades, and indeed Ms. Pac-Man from the arcades. Pac-Man, if you're sort of unaware of what the series is, is an, uh, an arcade game which came out in the 80s, May 1980, I believe, in, in Japan. And it was extremely popular. Uh, it was obviously the very early days of the arcades, and uh, there it was basically a sort of maze chase game. It was a really exciting little maze chase game. It was colourful, it was pretty, it had some really fun little uh, music, and the one thing that everybody remembers is waka 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 because you would move along as Pac-Man, this little yellow circular thing, eating up all of these pellets, and uh, you would eat, you would eat these pellets, and then eat these ghosts who were coming after you. Pac-Man has kind of lost some relevance in recent years, and by recent years I mean uh, since the 80s, essentially. There was a bit of a resurgence in the late 90s and early noughties, but since then, uh, Pac-Man's more of an icon than, than a true sort of gaming legend, hero, kind of like relevant thing, I suppose. Uh, this is what we're playing here is nothing like the original Pac-Man games. This is Pac-Man Monsters, and it's just come out on mobile. And, I mean, it's Puzzle and Dragons, really, at, at the end of the day. It's not a maze chase game, it's just a, a game in which you kind of move Pac-Man about. Let me explain how I'm playing this to you. I've, I've kind of been playing it a bit poorly as I've been talking over this stuff, but let me explain the rules to you as we uh, come out of our successful boss fight there <laughs> with wherever his chops is. Uh... Okay, yep, yeah, battle complete, fantastic. I've been playing this for, I'd say, about 45 minutes an hour now, and uh, not massively far, but far enough to give you some sort of first impressions, which is absolutely what this is. Here we are, okay. So, the whole idea here is, oh my word, another boss, what? Come on, I can't be, oh, well, it's, it's just a group of, uh, it's a gaggle. So, as you see, underneath the top right green icon, there's number 12. And if I drag my finger, you'll see that it's going down, as with the number of squares that I managed to fill up there. And uh, so that number hits zero. So you have 12 moves, or however many moves it is, at the start. And... So there we are, 12. So I can move Pac-Man on this game board 12 spaces before it's my turn that uh, comes to an end. And as you'll see on the monsters in the top right, who are my enemies, uh, where it says after four, after one, after three, after five, um, they will attack after that number. So you see that little yellow smiling one? She's gonna attack after one more move, so I better make it count. So I'm gonna use up these to attack uh, that'll do and as you see Bosh because I went through a power pellet I ate one of the ghosts that was in my way there um, otherwise I wouldn't be able to go through it because I would, I would uh, well, it just wouldn't work out basically so yes I can pick up power pellets so that's kind of how it it ties in with the game and obviously in the original Pac-Man game you could move up down left and right as you can sort of move up down left and right on the game board and you were playing as Pac-Man and you're sort of playing as Pac-Man here. That's really where the similarities end because it's just a it's just this is just really just a sort of puzzle game in which you line up all of these things. Uh, one of the cool things that you can do, there is a bit of strategy, I'm, 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 I'm not brilliant at it at the moment, but there is a, a fair bit of strategy involved. Oh, we've cleared the area. Okay, that's fine then. Let's move on to the next area. Battle complete! Yeah! Save items and continue. I'm going to send that person a friend request. I hope they're my friend. You get those little interstitials there. <laughs> And you get a lot of these ads. There's a Gallagher thing where you can get an ultra rare pack fighter and a lady pack fighter. I don't really want any of these things. Let's go back into Pack Town. Let's go to the Demon Patrol. It takes a certain amount of stamina. Obviously, there's an energy system in here to enter each of these uh, each of these battles. And you pick a friend at the start of each thing. All right, yeah, fine. Lots of menus in this thing. Lots of menus and lots of text that you just won't read because you want to get to the actual game itself. 
Okay. So stage one of three. Here we are. So one of the cool things that you can do is you can chain lots of the same attack together. So all of these different colors on this board represent different attack elements, essentially. Like you remember in Pokemon, there's fire and water and, and earth and whatever it is. And uh, it's the same here. So if I line up lots of green ones, like that, I haven't used up all my attacks, but whatever, then I get a lot of green attacks and, and therefore the green guy, there you go, does a lot of attacks there. I could do exactly the same thing with the red ones here. So I'm going to do that. And the key, if you want lots of red attacks, is to go through lots of these red blocks. Makes sense, doesn't it? Absolutely. And as you destroy, as you pick up all of the pellets within each coloured block, uh, they explode and then uh, they fall down and then they're filled back up. Oh, King Boss is incoming. We've fought this boss, I think, before. Yes, we'll defeat this one, please. Here we are. Merry Band chasing their way after this boss. So he's going to tap me after four. So I've got four of these moves, essentially, to to get in before I can, uh, before I'm going to be attacked by him. And obviously if my party's health hits zero, then that's a bit of a bother. So I'm going to go through this green thing here, blah, 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 pick up this cherry fruit and pick up these other things. If I hit other colors, then it means that I've got more people attacking because more different types of um, uh, allies that I have with elements will attack. So if there's lots of enemies on screen, I probably want to have lots and lots of different uh, types of attacks, especially if they're low low on health. But if there's one, then I probably want to go through lots of the same coloured attack because the more I chain together, the higher the attack. And that's kind of the the skill involved, really. And you pick up little bits of fruit, as I say, and you get health. And some uh, some of your allies will have special abilities and they come in a little bit later in the game but it's 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 exactly the same thing they are triggered by going over them like that you see i've just went over that power pellet that's exactly how you would trigger them and there are things like they attack it slightly earlier or they attack with a little bit more damage or they you know recover health or whatever that sort of a thing i am not massively impressed with this at the moment i think it's fine i think it's quite fun it's a nice little time waster uh I have experienced a few technical difficulties in so much as it wouldn't let me put in the name I wanted to put in, which was a bit strange. Uh, it said that the, char the character I tried to input was wrong. I just put in letters. Don't know why that. Don't know why it wasn't really having any of that. Uh, and it lost internet connection. I think it's done that once or twice now. And there's lots of these little menus and lots of just fluff that you've got to get through and you just feel like, ah, oh, it's a puzzle game, I just want to get to the puzzle thing. But really, you know, it is Puzzle and Dragons, it's kind of crimping on that 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 game's style. And uh, I think it's going to be for the kind of person who enjoys that kind of a game. They want to run through lots of different stages, collecting up all of these different characters. I'm just going to try and defeat these as quickly as possible, I'm not even doing strategy now. Uh, you know, yeah, collecting all of these different monsters and, and seeing what comes about later in the game. I don't know whether or not that's actually that exciting, though, because I don't think the art's particularly strong. What's... I mean, what's that little pink fluffy thing at the bottom of the screen of the player over there? I don't know. Like, does that, does that look good? Maybe it looks good to you. Maybe it doesn't. I'm going to eat that ghost. Bacho! I just don't think the design's particularly good, and they're certainly not really in keeping with the Pac-Man <laughs> mythos or lore or whatever it is, you know. And let's be fair, like the Pac-Man brand isn't really massively diverse. There isn't there isn't a whole bunch of artistic style to the thing. You know, the the iconic bit of Pac-Man is the neon and the and and the very simple colours and the black backgrounds and all of these sorts of things. I'm going to send that person a friend request. Uh, that's really the, the style of the game, but these designs are just a bit lacklustre. They don't really come from anywhere. They, they just feel a little bit out of place. I don't know. That's not my cup of tea. But yes, yeah, so let's use these eggs. I've been collecting eggs as I've been going on these quests. And I can use eggs to either... Let's open up a rare. Oh, this is exciting. Yep, okay. Blah, blah, blah. And then we go to... Oh, we've got Steam Therapy. Okay, 
you have to get Steam Therapy if you if you buy too many games in the Steam sales. You have to go to Steam Therapy. No? Anybody? No? Alright. I'm gonna use a whole bunch of these eggs. Let's see if we can open up a few more. Hey, oh look, it's just Yeah, fire pack. Cool. But it's just con like it's just constantly taking time and opening menus and doing little pauses and little loads and I don't care. I don't care enough. Come on. I, was quite, I quite like the one with the sunflower then. Um, but you can also use eggs to um, upgrade your team members and that sort of thing. And, and you can change your team uh, as best you see fit. And then you just go on, you keep going on little quests. And that's essentially the game, really. It's fine. It's okay. I haven't played enough of it to sort of give you a definitive verdict on it, but I'm not massively thrilled to be playing a lot more of it. I'll say that. And I don't think the presentation's very good. Maybe you disagree, though. Maybe you think this is amazing. Maybe you're a huge Pac-Man fan. Did you play Pac-Man in the arcades when it was released? If so, you're slightly older than I am, and... Uh, good, fair play to you. Uh, yo, what would you be You'd be like in your 30s now if you played played the game in uh, the arcades, but that'd be cool. Did you play the game in the arcades? And we'll, uh, even, even if you didn't, or if you did, then uh, are you bothered about this release? Do you think Pac-Man's still relevant in an age of Angry Birds and Clash of Clans and, you know, Skylanders? Do you think it's still got a, a, that much cachet? Or is it something to kind of consign to the bin of the past? Who knows? Uh, you know. Leave me a comment uh, to let me know. All right, I think I've had enough time with this. Uh, I will catch you all very soon. Bye. This is Peter with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.